Hello everyone, welcome to the 2021 Kids' Choice Awards. And it's been the greatest year because last year is kind of full of garbage, pandemic, and lots of problems is happening. But at least we already escaped from 2020. So that means that the Kids' Choice Awards nominees are finally out. And this year's show is going to be Ken Thompson. It's about time they pick an actor. Because basically, they always pick musical guests every, every year. But now they already opened their minds. I think he and Tom's going to do a good job. Wow, I'm proud of that guy. This is going to be on March, on Saturday, March 13th. Um, 7.30? Wow, I thought it was going to be 8. But who cares? So basically, this year's number is going to be different because I'm going to vote for my favorites. And you guys are going to... Follow me on this great journey. Alright, here we go. Favorite TV show. Hmm. Alexa Kitty. I never heard of these guys. Are you afraid of the dark? Hmm. Danger for uh, Henry Danger. They already win last year. Did they get canceled or something? High school musical the musical? Yeah, I never watch it. Women's home? Yeah, I heard about them, but I heard they're doing a good job right now. So basically all these nominees are great, but the problem is like, they nominate Henry Danger even though it's cancelled already. They already won. But, but I feel like the only TV show that I like the most is um, Ravensome because the only reason is like they did more seasons and they're the only show that has a lot of great personalities in there and yeah there's something like that here we go vote for them all right then so favorite family tv show wow seriously the kids are getting into a lot of things right now open-minded because the black witch is nominated cover kyle that's kind of violent something but i didn't know about that but I think it's really good. Full House, seriously, they got canceled. I don't know if they'll win. Stranger Things, I think they might win or may not because last year they haven't made any single season yet. Because I don't know when they're going to make another season, but we'll just wait and see for this year. The Majorian. I heard that this show is very crazy. This show is very great, basically, in my opinion, because people are talking about the Two characters, the relationship between this guy and the, and the baby good. I think people are interested in baby good. Last year, Young Sheldon. I actually voted for that last year and they didn't win anything. Uh, but anyway, so my vote is the Magionian. Let's be honest, it's great. Right? Favorite reality show? Hmm, America's Got Talent, not so much. America Idol, oh, I hate this garbage. America Ninja Warrior Jr., yeah, not uh, Exercise with Lego Masters. Yeah, I don't know about Mass Singer, well, this is my favorite. The Voice, never watch it. So basically, the only show I really wish to win this year because last year, these shows are basically like they didn't do nothing for quarantine so much but for those guys they did something in person and the voice it's kind of different i haven't seen it yet but people say it's good i don't know but the mass singer yeah because like the mass singer's always been there for us and they made brand new episodes like two seasons in one year so i'm going to vote for them i hope they win this time let's see all right then i got a movie Says oh shoot, it's garbage. Jurassic World series is Lego. Why they nominate that? SpongeBob, yeah. Team Nine is well or stupid. The Boss Baby back in I don't know about that. They got nominated again. Wait, I thought they did not get nominated. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about them. Still in a uh, traumatized thinking. The Loud House, no, not a fan. This garbage. And shows our gays and other stuff. Yeah. 
So the only TV show that's gonna win is SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's be honest, it's actually a great show. Only the new seasons are bad, but I still like the original episodes. Like how when it was a uh, it was originally created by Stephen Hamburg because the future without Stephen Hamburg, I think they changed the characters. But I'm still thinking they, I still think they're gonna win. So let's pick that. All right. Well, now okay. Let's go next. Favorite female TV star. Wait, something weird. Ara Anderson, by Molly Brown, and those guys again? Ah, man. Let me see. Andrew Anderson, my Bobby Brown, Candace Cambrain, no, no, no. Camille Mendes, Raven's Home, Sophia Wayne. I don't know who am I going to pick, but Raven's so on. She did a good job on those seasons, to be honest. Favorite male TV star. Hmm. Alan Integer, Young Sheldon, he is good. Joshua Bassett, um, don't know. Yeah, this guy, I don't know how he got nominated. Cabbage McRae, Stranger Things. Jason Noma, yeah, he's there, amazing. Finn Water, I don't know. So, reason, we, let's be honest. He's going to win Jason Noma because he's actually one of the only actors who did a good job on Harry Danger. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Favorite movie. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Do it all. Ah, that's not good. Hamilton, I hear it's great, but I don't think they're going to vote for it because not the kids were interested. One time they got nominated for soundtrack and they didn't win, so let's see what's going to happen next. How about Garbage? Garbage, the worst movie ever. Yeah, this movie is actually a great movie. Wonder Woman, I haven't seen it, but I heard the original one's good, but the new one's messed up. So, so the only one that should win this year because some of the kids will pick garbage movies for no reason. Like, I hope the only movie I want to win is Sonic the Hedgehog because Sonic the Hedgehog was actually a great movie I watched. It laughed my pants off. It's actually great. I hope it gets to win this time because I really want people to vote for that movie. It deserves it because it's actually one of the last movies that got put into theaters before the coronavirus started. Alright then, so I'm going for Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, Mo favorite movie actress. So, Mary Bobby Brown. Seriously, I don't know what the heck are these girls, to be honest. I know Mulan, but I don't know her so much. She just, I think she's a rising star. And I got it. Um, I think she did good. Mary, oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Bobby Brown, she really won for TV actress. Now she's going for TV movie actress. Oh, man. Okay, so I'll just pick randomly this time. I don't like to do this, but since I don't know these people, let's go to Kare Kare. Wow. Alright then, favorite movie actor. Wow. That's a lot of favorites. I don't know this guy, but I know those guys. Jim Carrey, um, I don't know. He was a villain, so... Will it make a difference if he wins movie actor? I mean, he won before during the 80s and 90s, but now he's back for the first time since the 90s. Oh no, I think the first time since the Mr. Proper's Penguin, so I don't know. Bobby Downey Jr., um, him, um, yeah, I heard he's good, but okay for now. Gruffer, yeah, he's actually the funniest man in the world. But I haven't seen his new film yet. Mm -hmm. But I heard he's still good. But I still need to see his film. Yeah, I really watch this actor, Loon Manon Moanda. He actually did a good job in Hamilton. I think he deserves it. Let me see. Chris Pine. Don't know him. Adam Sandler. Again, how many awards he wants? Seriously, I, I don't know about this guy. So, 
I think who deserves this? Even with Frau Lemon. Let me see. One, two, three, four, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think with Milan. He deserves it, basically. Favorite anime movie? Onwards? Seriously? Wow. Fiends of Earth? Seriously? Oh man, I, I realize it's just a anime movie. They never got nominated before, but I think this is the first time they got nominated for a movie. Good New Age, didn't like it. It's so disgusting. Trolls were turned, didn't like it. Scoop? Uh, this is most hated because of the new actors. Except for Scoop, he's still amazing. So, I love that movie. It changed my life. For now. So, basically, we all know So might win because basically So, or either Onward or So. Onward or So. But I guess people are not interested in So, so, So it is. So, favorite voice from an anime movie? Hmm. Tina Fey, 22, Jamie Foxx. And a Caswick, Chris Pratt, Ryan Wells, Emma Stone, and Justin Timberlake. Mm, uh, it's ho- so hard to choose. Um, I think I want to pick Emma Stone, but I think um, she's good at acting. I don't know. Um, let me see. I think maybe Jamie Foxx, Tony Fey. Um, maybe I don't know who's the best. Um, mm, I don't know. I think Jamie Foxx, he deserve it, but let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Favorite female mm-hmm. actress, um, Bounce, Adder, Sonia Gomez. Not again, that woman. Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, yeah. I really want to pick Taylor Swift, but the problem is she never wins. So, mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. I'll pick one only that I hate again, so. Taylor Swift. Let's go. Hope she wins this time. Okay, favorite artist. Same guys again from last year, but we all know Sean Mendes is going to win because he's still amazing. So let's pick him now. Favorite music group. Black Eyed Peas. Black Pink. I don't know those guys. BTS. Oh, come on. BTS. They already won. How many awards they want? But let's be honest. We still have to, you still have to like them. So, they work hard too. Jonas Butters, um, I haven't heard of them. I don't know. Mon Five. I don't know. They haven't. They made only one music. Me. One Republic. Yeah, they haven't made new music, but I don't know. I haven't heard of the new songs. So maybe, this time maybe you go to Jonas Butters. Okay, favorite music collaboration. Um, gotta be honest, be kind. Dice King, wait on me, not that. Holy, holy. To be honest, lonely, holy, and be kind are actually the most three of them. But I don't know which one's good, so let me see. Let me pick which one's the best one. Mm, let's be kind. Holy, honest. Alright, long. Yeah, long. That's really long. Best song. Yummy. I got that yum. Dynamite. Yeah. yeah, so I think the only music I like it's Blinding Lights. Let's face it, we all know that it's actually the best 80s and actually the best song we ever heard since because of the 80s take. Or maybe Dynamite because, well, no, it's the 80s too. Maybe. I don't know. So I'll pick Blinding Eyes. It's still amazing. Alright. We're almost done here. And streamer social female star. Um, I used to pick Jojo Siwa. But not anymore. Because after what happened. That she's now gay. And that kind of bothers me. Because I'm a Christian. So. No. So I think I'll just pick Gamer Girl. I don't know. Yeah. Jason Duwoo, he's a singer, not a social star. Seriously. But I think the only person I like is David Dobrik. 
because he did good jobs. But Mr. Beast, I don't know. I don't. I heard of him. He's famous, but I don't know if he's going to win because last year he didn't win, so there will be no change. So let's go to David Dobrik. Yeah. So, Mimi Byers, Nomi Asoka, Morgan Fiore, Serena Williams, and Candice Parker. But I know that the only person I really like is Alex Morgan because she's the best soccer football player we all know. So let's pick that. Save male sports star. We all know who's the best one. LeBron James. Yeah. We're almost done, guys. So it would be a game. So I didn't know what these games are. This Mario's not nominated. That's messed up. But I think. Among Us will be great because I don't know if people are interested, but let's see if it wins. Okay, favorite goal, music star. We all know Taylor Swift. She deserved to win again. So that's it. Voting for Kids Choice Awards. The, but there's one note I want to say. Please let Sonny the Hedgehog win. It'll be amazing to see him win. So basically that's all, folks. Thank you for watching my video and have a great day and I'll give you updates of the more on the Kids Choice Awards and let's see what's going to happen, who's going to win. So see you guys and thanks for watching my channel. Oh wait, don't forget to subscribe my channel and thanks for watching. Like my, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much guys. See you guys.